Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and this is the beta for Chapter 4 of Elite Dangerous. Nav beacons in. What's it all about? Well, there's new ways to find unidentified signal sources. We've had a look at one of them in previous videos by using the new exploration tools, but if you've got a combat fitted ship and you don't have a discovery scanner, or if you don't fancy doing that, then you can simply head to a nav beacon and scanning it will reveal absolutely everything in the system for you. Well, that's with the exception of points of interest down on planetary surfaces. For that, you, of course, will still need the Discovery Scanner. But here we are in space. So, to find the nav beacons, these are always orbiting any uh, inhabited star systems. Star, they're right nearby, and you can jump straight into these. Now, to scan it, simply select it. But you do have to be a bit careful here, because I know some people who aren't used to it sometimes make the mistake, and I have in the very early days, of select, uh, selecting the, the location marker. You don't want to do that. You want to head on over to the contacts panel and uh, select the nav beacon there. You can see the little yellow ring here. That is the location marker. That's not the thing you want to scan. Instead, you want the white marker, which is the nav beacon itself. Now, it takes a few seconds to scan. And as soon as it does, you'll see a little message appear up on the top right hand corner of the screen saying scan complete system data downloaded. And you'll now have all the data for this particular system, and that will include locations of mega ships, stations, planets, and unidentified signal sources as well, which will all be labelled, so you'll be able to go to the nav panel and see exactly what you're looking for. Now, if you're looking for scenarios, then these appear in certain type of signal sources, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But one type of signal source you may want are mission-based ones, and these can be connected to missions that you have, or sometimes they may actually be unrelated to that, and be a scenario related one. Now it doesn't seem to be entirely clear how and where all the new scenarios actually work. Frontier have said that there is an element of RNG to these, they don't want them to trigger in every single type of related uh, signal source. Basically because they don't want you to experience it every time, because otherwise, so they say, it would get old a little bit fast. But the problem I had with these is that it can be very difficult to actually find one and get one to activate. Now, talking of uh, missions, this one is one of the missions that was given to me in deep space. Over on the little message tab, you can see that the hidden contact needs 30 units, or is that 50 units of progenitor cells? Obviously, I'm in a vulture here, so I didn't have them for them, but nevertheless, it was a handy way to find the mission. Now, another type of signal source you may come across are the megaship ones. Now, I'm sure many people will have seen the megaship scenario play down already. This one turned out not to be such a thing. However, this mega ship, just like some of the other installations I've seen about, did come under attack. It asked for help, but I wasn't able to directly respond. So it wasn't really what we'd call a scenario. And you can see uh, the other ships coming up and starting attacking the mega ship here, shooting one of the uh, module points, which eventually did explode and set fire to that portion of the mega ship. So it seems scenarios can be a little bit difficult to find. Apparently they turn up in non-damaged megaships, conflict zones, distress called signal sources, combat aftermath detected, and convoy dispersal pattern detected. Unfortunately, there's no way of knowing what you're going to get before you jump into those signal sources, so it's very much a case of flying around and hoping for the best. Now, slightly further away from the Founders world, a few jumps away, I come across this system and a megaship sitting here. As soon as I flew over, this one did ask for assistance, just like the first one, but this also gave me the option to respond. I could get involved by either protecting the mega ship or attacking it. Now, if you do choose to attack it, you will get a assault bounty, you'll become wanted, and that's very simply because you're participating in a criminal act. If you choose to defend the mega ship, however, it's a slightly different story. You won't get a wanted bounty because you're actually coming to assistance and not getting involved in a criminal act. The pirates, after all, are wanted, and these are the guys that you're going to have to attack. Now they come in a number of waves, and periodically throughout the fight, two things will happen. You'll get an update objective telling you how many modules on the megaship have been damaged, and this gives you some indication as to the progress made against the megaship. Also, the megaship will update you periodically as to how many hostiles are left, and you saw that message just there. Now, the whole scenario is voice acted, and there's also quite a lot of background chatter going on, which really does a lot to bring the whole scenario to life. However, that said, I've found the background radio chatter to be very, very quiet, bordering on inaudible at times over the uh, sounds of combat. 
Ultimately though, these are very nice additions to the gameplay that goes on around Elite Dangerous. And they also have effect on the background simulation. You'll get notification of the actual effect once the battle has been completed. And this will appear in the info panel in the top right hand of your HUD. So ultimately, the bottom line for me at least, is that these scenarios are a very nice addition to the game, but they're far too hard to actually find and locate. And that's not due to the signal sources being hard to find, rather it's due to the scenario's random chance of becoming activated. Now the conflict zones have also had a massive overhaul, and that's something I'll be having a look at in another video. For now, that brings us to the end of this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.